Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you my 2000 Power Mac G4. I don't know if this is a. Yeah, it's Power Mac G4 Pro, I believe. I got this computer for the low, low price of free. hard drive is about to break. It sounds really bad and it's original. And yes, this computer actually came with a second hard drive. There was a replacement in there and it was plugged in instead of the original. So it was password locked. So I just unplugged it and took it out. And it still boots off the original Mac OS X. I mean, maybe not original. This is, it's got like version 10 on it. Mac OS X, I think it's a name about this Mac. It's running Mac OS X. I don't know what version. Oh, version 10.1. Memory, 384, uh, 384 megabytes of memory and a processor power PC G4. No gigahertz. Doesn't say why. Anyway, this is the computer. And this also still works. Vintage disk drive. Anyway, the second hard disk was password locked, like I said. Um, the computer did not, uh, it also had a game inside of it whenever I got it. Um, I forgot what it was, I was laying over on the end table. And uh, my neighbor gave this to me for free because I didn't want it anymore. They were just gonna have to roll it in the trash. It's Macintosh. But anyway, so this thing had one bad graphics card. There were two graphics cards in here, one of them was bad. So I took that bad graphics card out after testing it. The only thing it did was display white. Like the graphics card had like a blown resistor on it. So I just took it out, considering there was a second one in here. And in place of it, I just took a dummy panel out of an old broken Dell, and put that in there. So it still has a graphics card. It also has DVI and VGA, that's it. But that's good. And it's running off. VGA. But the computer is functional and the hard drive is probably going to die soon enough. So I'll try to figure out a way to copy the data from the original hard drive while it still works and put it onto the other drive. Just because it's pretty clean yet. But here, I'll go ahead and shut it down. And yes, this is a Logitech mouse. That's all I had. I did not get anything really original besides the monitor, power Mac. It took a little bit of effort, time to fix it and clean it. But yeah, it's not that hard considering it came with everything. So, literally no effort. And I got a spare hard drive out of it, I guess. But yeah, I'm really happy because this is the Pro, I believe. I believe this is the Pro model. It has a Pro keyboard. But anyway, thank you guys for watching.